Hello everyone, welcome to a really quick guide on how to get unlimited items in any fan game. Now, the point of this video is not to really debate whether this is something you should or should not do, but it's just a video telling you how to do it. Um, that being said, it is very important you actually watch the entire video so you don't get confused because I'm going to pull some numbers and if you skip through it, you're going to miss some of the numbers. Um, a few things to note, this only works on fan games and it does not work on ROM hacks. The difference is because of the engine that's made. ROM hacks are typically patched from an actual Pokemon game. Fan games are something that's made with like RPG Maker or stuff like that. Um, the only thing you're going to need is obviously the fan game. I've got Pokemon Eon Guardians up here, which is one of the newer games, uh, or newer fan games. And I've got Cheat Engine opened up. Uh, Cheat Engine is what we're going to actually use to do this. So the purpose of Cheat Engine is to modify the values of the item. And what we're going to do is we're going to just modify this escape rope value. This will work for every one of these items. However, I would recommend always having at least three of the item before you do it. Um, the reason being, if you have two, you're going to get a lot of different fields and you're going to not be entirely sure which field it is that you need to change. So something to keep in mind. So let's go and get started. Uh, the first thing here is we're going to actually have to find the game. And the way you do this is you're going to click on this icon kind of up in the top right hand or top left hand corner in Cheat Engine. Uh, normally there's a glowing circle around this, but I've had to record this video three different times at this point uh, because I forgot to record my audio. And you're going to select the game that you're wanting. So for instance, at this point, we're going to want to do Eon Guardians. Go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the value of escape ropes. So the way you get the value, and this is the point where it's very important to pay attention. See how I get this? You're going to get the number, times it by two, and then add one. So an escape rope, for instance, has seven. So we're going to go to 14, because that's times two, and then add one. So 15. 15 is our value. And we're just going to hit first scan. And you can see up in the top, it's going to say 3,000 or 34,776 items. That's a lot of items to go through, which is why I say you want at least three of these items, because what you're going to want to do is you're just going to give, take one of the items and you can either give it to a Pokemon or toss it because it's an escape rope. I'll toss it. So now we've got six. So what this does is essentially it's going to find the, the value that was changed that had 15 and now it's moved down to a different number. So six times two, 12 plus one, 13. And what you're going to do, and this is very important, is you want to hit next scan. So as you see here, there is a lot still on these items. So what we're going to do is we're just going to toss another one here. And you can actually see the one that it is because it just changed yellow. Um, but now we've got five, so we're going to just change the value to 11. Because five times two plus one, next scan. With that being said, you found the value. You can see right here the value is 11 versus 15. So what you want to do is you just want to double click down into the little field anywhere of these. And where the value is here, I'm going to click on the word value. You're just going to click on where it says 11. And then you're going to want to double it. So for instance, if we wanted, uh, let's just say uh, we want uh, 50 escape ropes, right? We want 50 of them. Don't know why you want 50, but you want 50. So we're gonna take 50, we're gonna double it and add one to it. So we're gonna have 101. And now then, if we go back and go back into the bag, you now have 50 escape ropes. This will work for any item. Like I said, as long as you've got at least two technically, I would recommend doing it with three though. Um, two, you're gonna find a lot of different values. Like for instance, if we did honey, Let's, let, we'll do honey as an example here. Uh, we've got two. We'll clear this out. Yep. Uh, so we're going to do five. And first scan there. We're going to go ahead and toss one here. And you might be able to find it. Like, it's got a lot on this, of course. Um, but yeah, anyways. We're going to go from five to three and we're going to do next scan and you've got one of these two. So it's going to be one of those two. The problem is you're not going to know which one it actually is. Um, so it's going to have to be a pick or choose type of deal. So that's why I'm saying it's always good to at least have three in there. 
can be done with one, or I'm sorry, can be done with two, I would recommend at least three. But this will work on any fan game. Hopefully this helps. Like I said, I've been playing Eon Guardians currently and I don't have time to grind. So this helps out a tremendous amount. Um, you know, and like I said, you can do it for any item. I would recommend if you're going to do it, they'll probably just do like rare candies. But again, that is not for the purpose of this video. Hopefully this helps. If you guys have any qualm uh, comments, not comments, or questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Um, like I said, I tend to do that with these type of how-to videos. And thanks everyone for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.